Good evening. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Chris Denton. I'm principal here at C.W. Baker High School and vice president for the Baldwinsville Community Scholarship Foundation. Welcome to the 48th celebration of Moving Up Day, and this year our scholarship awards night. Please, a round of applause. Many of you have participated in this event for many years, and to some of you it's a, it's a very new event. Uh, many of you who have participated will recognize that we are giving a new format a try this year, and uh, BCSF board member, Mr. Chris Baker, who is also our MC this evening, will give you some more details uh, about the rest of tonight's program and his remarks. This is a critically important evening for our entire community as we celebrate the achievements of the amazing students of the class of 2022 and honor the legacies of so many members of our community and community organizations. I did say the class of 2022, didn't I? <laughs> this is absolutely going to be a wonderful night and I am honored honored to be here. I would like to acknowledge the hard work and dedication of the entire BCSF board. Our gratitude as a foundation and school community for the generosity of our donors is immeasurable. I would also like to recognize the hard work and dedication of Assistant Principal Jennifer Turpening as she works, yeah, a round of applause. She works tirelessly with donors from the community uh, with all of the Charles W. Baker Community Scholarships. So lastly, I just want to thank each and every one of you for being here tonight, and congratulations to families and students. One more time, the class of 2022. <laughs> At this time, I would like to introduce Baltonsville Community Scholarship Foundation Board President and Baker High Class of 1974 alumni. An interesting note, I'm gonna, I have to say this. So one of my favorite things to do is to give tours uh, for uh, alumni weekends, right? And so you get to meet a lot of different amazing people that, that you know, spent time in the halls here at Baker High School. And I did a tour for the class of 74, and we had everybody in the LDR, and uh, Mark Baker, who's a, uh, a community member here, many people know him, a great friend of mine, um, is also in the class of 74. And we discovered that I was born on the Sunday that the class of 74 graduated. <laughs> <laughs> and that made them feel really good. <laughs> so, but without further ado, please a round of applause for Mrs. Cindy Dow Green. welcome you, we thank you, we honor you. We are, um, the board is an all-volunteer board and many of the board members are represented up here and you and handed out programs, helped you come in this evening and we will continue to work with you down as we proceed to the gym. We are um, very honored too that we have a foundation administrator who many of you communicated with, Margaret Joyer, and we thank Margaret for all her hard work and putting this event together. As Chris said, tonight is a really special night. We're able to honor our loved ones, celebrate our community, and provide awards to seniors to help them in their future. And what a great honor it is to do all of that. Prior to the pandemic, many of you, Chris, referred to it, we had a big ceremony, it lasted three and a half hours, and we, prior to the pandemic, we were talking about what could we do different that would still be special. And then the pandemic hit. So we delivered all the scholarships to students' homes. Some donors came with us. I think without exception, the donors and the board members loved that personal touch of being able to meet the student, 
meet their parents, meet their family, and hear about where they were going with their future. So, the pandemic actually helped us shape what is going to happen tonight. We're going to do a little pop and circumstance in here. We're going to have a ceremony, and then we're going to follow it up with more personal time where you can have one-on-one -on -one conversations with your donors and the donors with their students. So, Chris will describe exactly how the night is going to go, so pay attention. Um, and I will say one thing, um, after the ceremony, if you are a donor and you are here and you did not pick up your envelope, please look in your program and there's going to be a table number next to your scholarship. Please proceed to that table and your envelope will be there. Thank you again. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Great pleasure to introduce Chris Baker, who is going to be our MC for the evening. Well, for the first time in a very long time, I'm not wishing you a good morning. I'm wishing you a good evening. So, good evening. And welcome to the 48th anniversary of Moving Up Day. I'm Chris Baker. Like Cindy said, I'm a board member with the Baldwinsville Community Foundation. <coughs> Foundation. I'm going to take you through a bunch of instructions, but first we have a couple pieces of business to get out of the way. I'd like to introduce three other people who are going to come up and lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance tonight. So, Cesar Perez Marino, Owen Penhallow, and Kelsey Dwyer.
for that everyone in here should be proud. We'll take things a little differently tonight than we have in the past years, so for those of you who are familiar, we'll have a few changes of pace. We'll have an abbreviated ceremony here in the auditorium where we will name all of our scholarship winners. That's going to be followed by a reception in the gymnasium. So winners, parents, and our donors are asked to visit the table number indicated in the program to present and receive awards. So when we're done in here, we will go to the gym. There's a table number in your program. You will meet at that table, and donors and students and their parents will have a chance to meet with one another. We'll also have cookies, coffee, water. That's all, right? All right. As we go through the winners, I encourage you to follow along in our program to read about each of our scholarships and the people and organizations in this community to help make them possible. I'll talk a little bit more about that community as the evening goes on. But first, we'd like to start right off with some winners. The first group of Baldwinsville Community Scholarship Foundation scholarships are given in memory of loved ones and friends from the area. My fellow board member Kevin Bernstein will announce the first group of memorial scholarships. Now, we ask that you please hold your applause and recognition until Kevin finishes. And as, once he's done, we will ask the group to stand and be recognized. So I'll say it again. We ask that you hold your applause until Kevin has finished reading this first group of honorees, and then we'll ask you to be as loud and noisy and standing up as you want. So Kevin. <coughs> Uh, the other thing I would ask the member is operating the lights. Maybe when, after I announce all the uh, winners that I'm announcing, turn the lights up a little bit so we can actually see the people who are standing up when we uh, all applause. That would be great. So first of all, uh, it's great to be back again in a different part of the other format. Uh, and this is great being in the auditorium. Um, class of 2022, congratulations. Now, I, I had one question before I start reading the names. I hope someone out there can tell me the correct answer. How many days until graduation? <laughs> I don't know. When my kids walk through these halls, they knew exactly how many more days until graduation. Okay, how many more days left of school? Okay. <laughs> see, I know, I, see, there may be different answers because some have passed and some don't. Uh, but anyway, so I don't know. You all should know exactly how many days to the Okay, easy out here. So anyway, I'm, I'm uh, honored to be the first one out to uh, to announce uh, some of the uh, memorial scholarship winners. So I'll go through these as slow as I can, and I apologize in advance, notwithstanding Mr. Baker's attempt to make sure that we say all your names correctly. But So the first um, Memorial Scholarship uh, is the Robert H. Amodi Memorial Scholarship, and that is awarded this year to Samantha Tangway. And then we have two new scholarships this year who are given in the memory of the Animal Sisters. The Elizabeth Animal Memorial Scholarship is awarded, awarded to Carter Irwin, and the Mariella Adults Memorial Scholarship is awarded to Sarah Lomay. Two Paige Omen Arnold Scholarships is, are awarded this year as, as every year. So the first Paige Omen's Arnold Memorial Scholarship is awarded to Cesar Perez Marino. And the second Paige Omen's Arnold Memorial Scholarship is awarded to Catherine Wilbur. The C. Allen Bacon Memorial Scholarship is awarded to Jessica Cerrone. The Robert Balliet Memorial Scholarship is awarded to Kalina Ferrari. The Bob Balstra Memorial Scholarship is awarded to McKaylin Neville. The Gregory Bender Memorial Scholarship is awarded to Emmett Powell. The Janice Abbott Pitts Memorial Scholarship is awarded to Emmett, is, is awarded to Emma Hollenbach. The Marie Bucci Memorial Scholarship is awarded to Brianna Thomas. The James Burton Memorial Scholarship is awarded to Allison Starr. We, and we have two David C. Capicelli Memorial Scholarships. The first David C. Capicelli Memorial Scholarship is awarded to Dean Welch. And the second David C. Capicelli Memorial Scholarship is awarded to Grace Elfat. 
Joe Coleman, strive for an excellent memorial scholarship, is awarded to Ethan Viviano. The Robert Conklin Memorial Scholarship is awarded to Mary Ferris. The Andy Cook Memorial Scholarship is awarded to Caitlin Sacco. The Sydney and Harriet Cooper Memorial Scholarship is awarded to Isabella Ianini. I think I got that one. The Beth Corcoran Memorial Scholarship is awarded to Gretchen Purine and the Earl Cordaccio Memorial Scholarship is awarded to Anna Taylor. So if those recipients can stand and we can turn the lights up a little bit. Thank you for donating. 
internet was born. I think we learned from today, a um, little before I was born. Uh, but the last few years, you might have noticed that things were a little different. Um, some of you might have seen or been involved in or had family members who were involved in 2020 and 2021 when we spent moving up day traveling across town, handing out scholarships at students' homes. We blanketed Beagle to hand deliver more than 100 scholarships each year. And it was uh, just a truly remarkable experience for I think a lot of us to get to know the donors, the ability to hear the stories from so many of these memorial scholarships that are about people who were part of our community who we've lost and really spend time and give our donors a chance to meet with our students. It was really tremendous. So we're proud that we survived the pandemic thanks to lots of support from the community. And we are so glad to be back in person this year together. So I next would like to introduce my fellow board member, Dan Young, to announce the third group of Memorial Scholarships. Again, please hold your applause at the end. And I'll ask at the end when the uh, students rise to be recognized, but the donors also rise um, to be recognized and we can, we can see all of you. So Dan. The Brandon M. Holrich Memorial Scholarship is awarded to Rachel Mayer. The Carrie Hornaday Memorial Scholarship is awarded to Hannah Isak. The Bertha Hosler Memorial Scholarship is awarded to Hannah Staff. The Jeff Bayanuzo Memorial Scholarship is awarded to Alexander Lakomsky. The Margaret Miller Jock Memorial Scholarship is awarded to Tyler Norman. The Colin W. Call Memorial Scholarship is awarded to Paul Sacco. The Derwin A. Kellicott Memorial Scholarship is awarded to Sarah O'Dell. The John Klasmer Klasmeyer Memorial Scholarship is awarded to Brennan Grupe. The Elmer and Gladys Little Memorial Scholarship is awarded to Nadia Kozman. The Lisa J. Meeker Memorial Scholarship is awarded to Lydia Pavarnik. The Evelyn D. Mercer Memorial Scholarship is awarded to Sydney Hall. The Jennifer Miles Memorial Scholarship is awarded to Austin McClendon. The Roger T. Millard Memorial Scholarship is awarded to Ava Pompo. The Donald Mott Memorial Scholarship is awarded to Ryan Pompey. The Edna Catherine Moyer Memorial Scholarship is awarded to Katarina Rice. The W.J. Moyer Memorial Scholarship is awarded to Maria DeCaro. The Tim Nagel Memorial Scholarship is awarded to Vincent Samurai. The Donald Neal We Care Scholarship is awarded to Kai Girard. The John Nall Memorial Scholarship is awarded to Alexandra Fabino. Now we would like to recognize these award winners and the families and friends who have remembered their loved ones by providing for a scholarship in their memory with all of these scholarship donors and recipients that I have named. Please stand for a round of applause. Scott 
Memorial Scholarship is awarded to Sawyer Nazar. The Keith Sieber Memorial Scholarship is awarded to Maeve Bartel. The Otis Senate Memorial Scholarship is awarded to Sidney Hutala. The Nancy Sibley Memorial Scholarship is awarded to Allison Hay. The Cynthia Smith Memorial Scholarship is awarded to Molly Fabian. The Doreen Strife Memorial Scholarship is awarded to Lorian Gulick. The Syracuse Home Foundation slash Patricia Holcraft Memorial Scholarship is awarded to Megan Stack Couture. A new scholarship for 22, the Wally Gator, Mr. Wallen, Memorial Scholarship is awarded to Chelsea Myers. And the Sergei Yevick Memorial Scholarship is awarded to Alexandra Gomez. Now we would like to recognize these award winners and the families and friends who have remembered their loved ones by providing for a scholarship in their memory. Would all the scholarship donors and the recipients I have made please stand for a round of applause. Because it's easy to take for granted how unique we are here. This next group of scholarships shows that. These are donated by community groups, non-for-profits, and alumni organizations that work all year to collect enough money to donate to our graduating seniors. Board President Cindy Dow Green will announce the winners of our Community Organizations Awards. Baker High School Custodian Scholarship is awarded to Emily Foreman. The Baldensville Administrator's Scholarship is awarded to Nicholas Lechardello. Lechard sorry. The Baldensville Community Scholarship, Baldensville Community Business Community Scholarship is awarded, awarded to Cameron Doherty. I can't talk because Chris got me so flustered. <laughs> The BCSF Bonathon scholarships are awarded to 10 students, and these scholarships truly come from people in our community, and we thank anyone who ever donates to our foundation. Emma Brookings, Everett Buckner, Landon Arcady, Brianna Kennedy, Dominic Dingle, Stephen Meeker, Liana Yost, Trey Ordway, Nicholas Hutala, and Evan Trasher. The Baldensville Community Scholarship Foundation Founders Award Scholarship is award, awarded to Bryson Murdoch. The Baldensville Kiwanis Scholarships are awarded to six students, Audrey Benton, Felicity Pickard, Deanna Jobbins, <laughs> Javenskaya, Elizabeth Shepherd, Madeline Arnold, and Alexa Pichano. The Baldensville Rotary Club Scholarship is awarded to Drew Gates. The Baldensville School Retiree Scholarship is award awarded to Cole Lenahan. The C.W. Baker Alumni Scholarship is awarded to Isabella Noden. Noden. The C.W. Baker 1987, Class of 1987 Scholarship is awarded to Emily Atkinson Snow. The Liverpool Elks Scholarship is awarded to Olivia DeFazo. The Liverpool Elks Ladies Auxiliary Scholarship is awarded to Prakti Patel. The Jack, Hennes Jack and Rosemary Hennessy Scholarship is awarded to Tyler Bloom. The Maureen's Hope Foundation Scholarship is awarded to H Hadley Michaels. The Chip and Julie Hyde Scholarship is awarded to Alta sorry, Alta Natalia Lewis. The Pack B Scholarship is awarded to Carson Way. And the Claudette and James Pitt Honorary Scholarship is awarded to 
Madison Mulchlory. We would now like to recognize all these award winners and their families and friends who have remembered their loved ones by providing scholarship, or who have provided scholarships via community, their community. Would all the scholarship donors and the recipients I have named please stand for a round of applause. Tate Archer, Hadley Michaels, and Caitlin Sacco. 
the Baldwinsville Rotary Club Scholarship for BOCI students is being awarded to Kwate Dorsey and Nyessa Taylor. The Baldwinsville Teacher Teachers Association Scholarship is being awarded to Julia Fischera, Emma Hollenbeck, and Grace Hollenbeck. The Baldwinsville Theater Guild Scholarship is being awarded to Gabrielle Butchko, Julia Fischera, and Julia Fischera. The Belgian Cold Spring Fire Department Scholarship is being awarded to Mackenzie Banks and Rosiah Hester. The Blue Ridge Financial Services Scholarship is being awarded to Cameron Brennan. And the State C.W. Baker High School Student Council Scholarship is being awarded to three students this year, McKenna Davis, Julia Fischera, and Jessica Caron. The Class of 2018 Senior Council Legacy Scholarship is being awarded to Jessica Caron and McKenna Davis. The Class of 2021 Legacy Scholarship is being awarded to Ryan Hollenbeck and McKenna Davis. The Corporal Kyle Schneider Foundation Scholarship is being awarded to Jessica Caron and Ethan Hedler. The Donna Cole Memorial Scholarship is being awarded to Jessica Caron. The Edge Federal Credit Union Scholarship is being awarded to Emily Foreman and Paul Sacco. And the Fulton State Bank Scholarship is being awarded to Sarah LeMay for attending Oswego and Perry Chetney for CCC. At this time, I'd like to recognize these award winners and the scholarship donors. So would you please stand for a round of applause. So that concludes 
our awards. But before we adjourn to the gymnasium for refreshments and a chance to meet, uh, I'd like to leave you all with just a few thoughts from tonight. I've sat in this room for Moving Up Day at least a dozen times over the years. First as a student, then as a presenter, and now as a BCSF board member. Savet has always had a special place in my heart. You see, my grandfather was one of the Scholarship Foundation's founding members back in 1974. Then my father was a board member while I was a kid. We'd come home every year raving about a successful moving up day. Sometimes he would complain that it was inside versus outside, and it was a whole thing. I never quite understood it when I was younger. From what I could tell, it was a bunch of old people in suits and dresses talking for about three hours. It was hot and it was long. When I was a senior, I won a thousand dollar check. I was so excited, I spent it on books and supplies in my freshman year. And after that, this event kind of faded from my mind. I had other stuff to do, so I didn't really think about moving up day at all for years. Then in 2012, my grandfather died. As our family made decisions on how to honor him and how to remember him, there was one thing that was never even a question that there would be a Baldensville Community Scholarship in his name. Every year since then, I've come to Moving Up Day. My family has a scholarship, one of you won it tonight. We meet with a student who won, and we swap stories with so many other people in this community who come here to honor the people they love. And every year since then, I leave this high school feeling inspired. I'm inspired by all of you, the young adults who worked so hard to get your butts into these seats today and will be tasked with figuring out how to take on all the world's challenges after you leave here. Now, I, I say that every year, but I'm especially proud of you, the class of 2022, who have endured challenges that might have seemed unthinkable just a few years ago and have rattled all of us. You dealt with a global pandemic while still earning grades good enough to win a scholarship. That's, that's pretty good. But perhaps just as important, I find myself inspired by this Baldwinsville community. If you look through your programs tonight, you'll see a lot of names. There are the dozens of businesses that have set up shop here and donate to students they've probably never even met. There are the community and alumni groups, some older than all of us up here, who raise money just to support all of you. Then, of course, there are the memorials. Scholarships given for the neighbors we've lost over the years. They were teachers and coaches art lovers and athletes, musicians, mechanics, volunteers, friends, parents, sons, daughters. And they all had something in common. They left a mark on this community and the people in their lives. Now those people gather here every year to keep their stories alive. Today's more important than just the dollar amounts we'll award. It's a tribute to our collective history the people who came before us who made this community more than just a group of people who live near each other. It's easier than ever today to seek out and find the ways that we're all different. But it's days like today that remind us that we're at our best when we're together, when we support each other as a community. So take a moment today to be grateful for whoever's name is on that certificate you'll receive in just a few minutes. Whether it's a business, a group of volunteers, your teachers, your custodians, or someone we've lost over the years, they are what makes this community such a special place. And now, you're all a part of that legacy. And I think I speak for everyone up here when I say I know that you'll make all of us proud. So, thank you. And we'd now like the chance to tell those stories. We'll ask everyone to make their way into the gymnasium to receive your awards, meet with our donors and board members who make all of this possible. So please head down to the gym. There's a table number in your program, of course, on the board. And again, congratulations and thank you everyone.